Now, talking about RERA or Real Estate Regulatory Authority, RERA, meanwhile, just got more real for industry after the government released the second set of draft rules for the regulator last week. In fact, even as states gear up with their own versions of the Real Estate Regulatory Authority, Realty Inc. is busy preparing for what they're dubbing the post-RERA era. Kavita Krishnan gets us this report. Last weekend saw Realty Inc. congregate in Ahmedabad for the Realty Plus Conclave and Awards. But even as industry took time out to honour their brightest, what dominated discussions was the impending rollout of RERA or the real estate regulator across the country. You are all now the witness of uh, this whole transformation and a lot of things going to be happen, a paradigm shift will be happening in coming years. Many fly-by-night operators will go away but having said that, there are some good developers, there are many, most of them are good developers, they have to be very, very uh, legal and uh, document compliant also. The recent set of rules released by the Housing Ministry calls for developers to be compliant with a whole host of rules and make disclosures under at least 60 different heads. While industry admits this will bring in much needed transparency in the sector, they are also questioning the omission of the government authorities from RERA. Another big concern is the 70% escrow limit that developers will have to maintain for every project. Industry is hinting that this could bring black money back into the system. The minute we say 70% escrow and everything is escrowed, the developers' equity will have to be high. So either the fund will have to step in or the developer has to put in his own funds. And because of RERA, the pre-sale is now not allowed in any form. I cannot raise deposits, I can't take as an advance. Nothing is possible now. So possibly we will find a method to, uh, if somebody would invest in terms of cash, maybe that could come, up, come back. Other big changes that developers are predicting, a shakeout in the system which will see small-time developers and brokers leave the business and fewer joint development deals as landowners will shy away from compliance. But for industry, the big hope is that RERA will bring the buyer back into the market. In, in this act, because... Uh, there will be a lot of litigations from both sides and then the, a practical approach will prevail and the, the regulator will, will keep the state level regulator in each state uh, depending on what the, the hardships are there to the both sides. They will continue to, and I hope so, they will continue to amend them to, to bring more transparency to the industry and bring that faith back which the builders have lost for the consumers.